camera person back. Okay. <laughs> She clowned me for not having one of these in the first episode. And now we It's all one. full circle. Man, and it's the very <laughs> last. Okay, cool. It's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. Hey, how you doing? Hey, man. Listen, right, listen. Hey, how are you doing? Right. What's how y'all doing out there? Uh, welcome minute. back. This is episode. Woo. 23? 20, 22, 23, 24. 24. This is episode, insert AI clip here, <laughs> of the <laughs> Artists of Shitty People podcast. Artists of Shitty People. It, it, it's, it's very hard to keep track of what number episode we mm. on when your Man. co-host quits showing up to work. When you get fired and you're not allowed to come back up here, but you, you show up fired. anyway. You just quit showing up. I didn't quit. Let's talk about when that. When did I quit showing up? Because I feel like I came to a the Thursday. cook up. I came to the what? <laughs> on a Thursday. I quit on a Thursday on the best day of the week. <laughs> yeah. Ah, come on. I got come things. On, then she started dropping new podcast episodes, whole new podcast. I'm like, oh, you got you got relationship podcast. She's <laughs> she's the pod mother, the fairy pod mother. <laughs> like she out here just blessing everybody's podcast. Wow. I was like, all right, I see it. Those are all pretty and blew up. She no. was like, <laughs> we just a stepping stone on her journey. You just add her to the list of names: Mike, Will, Young Thug, Bob, Metro Booming. Like you feel me? Like ah, Big Prim. Wow. <laughs> Not a stepping stone, y'all. Oh, Obviously, man. I'm still here, right? But no, no, you've been around. You've been, Shirt been down, cook ups. Yeah, there been oh. sessions. You turned the AC off. She did. Oh, mm -hmm. you the best. She is the best. Yes, <laughs> DJ Callum. She the best. She the best. Um. Hey. So, but yeah, um, it's been eight weeks. Yep. Since our last episode. Wow. And you know, I'm, I'm so big on artists. We like consistency, consistency. I've been com very consistent, actually. I haven't. I haven't. Like, I've been hella busy. Like, this podcast, this is more a labor of love. It's not a financial thing. Oh, right, so it's like, right. yo, when other stuff come up, like. You got to go do that. Shh. Right. Like, you'll get this sauce next week. <laughs> and that's what it's been. Yeah. But still here. Yeah. And there are other things that have still been going on, so it's not like So this is our, but this is our final episode cuz I, I feel know. that you've graduated beyond this. It's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. So a lot has this, happened since the last episode. Does this mean like I'm not a shitty person anymore? Yes. Wow. Look into the camera. It's like she's not a shitty person anymore. <laughs> yeah, I it feel took, like Hold on cuz we started in December. Uh -huh. It took 9 months. Wow. To dishitify. <laughs> <laughs> it's like having a baby. It's like baby wipes. <laughs> oh my God. Because that's crazy because in the first, in the beginning, we talked about how being a shitty person is like being a baby. Yes. And it's like I was, I, go, I went backwards. Like I had to be reborn again. Y'all. Yeah. 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 So, all right. So <sighs> the last episode mm -hmm. that you guys saw, we, um. We talked about because you were going back and watching the episodes yeah. and just um, like taking some of the information because it's like we have these conversations. And I think that's one of the things like even when doing consulting work, mm -hmm. like I do consulting work and um, when the people don't take notes when I'm doing the consulting work. It's hard to. I was like, this shit sounds yeah. good in the moment and you get it. And then, it was like two weeks later, you clearly didn't remember what I said. <laughs> you heard what are you it. doing? You didn't apply anything <laughs> of what I so, said. So that's the um, like putting the episodes up and you going back watching them, and then it's like uh, all of these like full circle moments yeah. from things that we talked about. It's been a lot like of them. months prior, and then um, the situations or you finding yourself in situations. And being able to apply what we talked about mm -hmm. prior, like um, the whole situation with we're doing the budget and then the yeah. situation with the job offering you mm -hmm. um, the opportunity to to increase your income mm -hmm. by coming into the office and this idea of freedom and... <laughs> 
freedom. This yo. capitalistic society trying to drain the life out of my creativity. Oh my like this narrative that you create yeah. as a creative. Yeah. Like that's what you do. And um, that's what you tell yourself for sure. Yeah. yeah. And, and but then when it comes back and watching the episode and then revisiting it and making that move and doubling your budget, doubling mm-hmm. what you have to work with by not even taking on more work, but just changing where you do your work at. Yeah. And what I do with my time, because yeah. I remember it was it was the thing with having more time. Well, what do you do with that more time that you yeah. have? You know, how are you making it make sense and things like that? So, yeah, like, <laughs> and it's funny because I think it's different when you hear something versus when we're doing this, we're recording it, and then you go back and you watch it. And you actually take the notes, because I did, I do have a notebook, and you take the notes and it's just like, this just makes sense. It makes life way easier than I've told myself in my mind that it was hard, you know? Yeah. And so, it's just, yeah, it's cool seeing it come full circle. And we've had a bunch of those moments, even in the time that we haven't recorded anything, we've just been talking and doing I try not to lives. talk to her when the camera's on. But like, if the camera's not on, like, no, because you're going to fuck you're up gonna the people. you're going to say something, right. Yeah. And it's like, and y'all ain't gonna I'm not going to hear you about to fuck up or right. do something and not say anything. Too bad it ain't on camera. Right. <laughs> like, so, in order for y'all to still get the genuineness of it, it's like, we try to wait until you get on, on camera, but like, even on the lives, mm-hmm. the lives and yeah. in the studio sessions with Chuck, it's like, so many things come and we're like, ah, that was in the podcast. Yeah. We talked about that in the podcast. Da, da, da. You know, so, yeah, it's pretty cool to actually live and experience that because a lot of people don't get that and a lot of people don't have the opportunity to get that. Wow. It's recording on the okay. camera, like, but I just want to have it <laughs> <Right>. back up. <laughs> <All right. laughs> that. Yeah. So, but no, so like, so there was that you, on the last episode, we talked about that. You went um, and it went ahead and made that change to yeah. your work arrangement. Yeah, the work arrangement changed. And then life lifed. Whew, life lifed. Real Tell us life. how life lifed. Life lifed. So I was blessed with a beautiful niece. Mm-hmm. My sister had a daughter, and um, that required a lot of change in my family, you know, to be able to manage a new life, which so she's so beautiful, y'all. <laughs> I'm I'm loving the rich auntie life. Um, Insert photo here of yes, the child. I'm this loving. will be a random baby that we Googled because <laughs> right. this is the internet. Right. We're weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all won't go see her no way. But, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Um, Beautiful baby, um, the new job, uh, lost relationship, which was cool, you know, not too terrible. Um, hey, be trying to be all cool. I mean, it was lost, lost relate, cool, like you know, like like this is for the cameras, like. All right. Anyway, it was cool, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, you know, regular life, life and stuff, and um, some family deaths here and there, but that's life. Yeah. Things happen, but you still keep going, and yeah. You enjoying the show? <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, so, um. What's the first thing like after, after the job, um, change living situation, mm-hmm. and having to readjust the budget, finding a, a new place, mm-hmm. looking, and we and that was that was a conversation in and of itself. Yeah, we talked about that, and so I think it's important that we talk about that mm-hmm. because life, 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 definitely life, and so it's like. New job, new money, more flexibility, and then it's new like, responsibilities. Yeah, new responsibilities, yeah. and it's like, hey, where does music fit? Yeah, yeah. And so, with that, like, um, like having to look for 
um, a new place and you have this checklist yeah. with all this. Oh my gosh. I need this and it has to had have to get this. That, and I, gotta, to get that. I need a, like, a five-star gym. They, oh they don't have a sauna. Had to have a gym. Of course it has to have a sauna. <laughs> like, like... <laughs> Had to have a is there a terrace level like, oh like my God. everything you had like a check you know you have standards people have standards yes do they I have standards what so, is the definition of standard certain things that I have to have in order to be you know happy. I Google stuff I know you're you gonna know, go, stand. Like, go go Google standards no, I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you but that give was your my definition, of definition. It. I have to have these things this is a standard for me because a standard seems like the thing that comes equipped, like it's just, oh, it's what comes with it. This is standard. standard. And if you haven't had it and not used to it, then it's not standard. Like people have standards for what they're looking for and there aren't things that they've had yet. Like for okay. people. Okay. Yes and. Like um, so I, I need someone who makes six figures. How but many people, have you dated? You make six <laughs> figures, like it's like so. so okay. So we just we now, we confuse our that's wants a with standards. Standard. No, but we confuse our wants with standards sometimes. Like, and I mean, like it's like if you okay, I'm a, let me just look it up so I so I can make sure I'm not right or wrong <laughs> on this. But go ahead, go ahead. You have standards. You I'm need a saying. sauna. You need a, a. I need a gym. A three bedroom walk in closet sauna, four bath. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, like there's just certain things. But, I, I don't think my standards were wild though. No, what was standard? Oh, okay, yeah. Listen, I was I was engaging you. I was letting Google Google. A level of quality. Mm hmm. Or attainment, mm -hmm. or attainment, or attainment. What you've already have, already a level attain. of attainment. Okay, uh, you okay. got this. Like or quality. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. An idea or thing used as a measure, norm, or model in comparative evaluations. Okay. Say it again. Uh, I think this is more mathematical. An idea or thing used as a measure norm or model in comparative evaluations i think that would probably you would just you're just using this to measure measure a standard <laughs> of norm mm -hmm. that is it? used or accepted as normal or average okay that's is that your norm two and a half to have a gym yes okay yes okay. absolutely to have a gym everywhere Th and my, <laughs> when I was living no, with no. my parents, they had a gym in the basement, so okay, I'm used I, to okay, have I a basement. Okay, I give you A that. gym okay, in the basement, okay, right. All right. So I'm like, I got to have a gym, at least. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think nothing wrong with that. All right, I give you that. So you got your standards. Yeah. But, all right, so, and this is the whole thing with the standards. So you have your standards. Mm -hmm. And, but in that... The math wasn't mathing with those standards. That two bedroom with the yeah, yeah, with the, the gym, yeah. Uh, I need to. Oh, they yeah, got a pool. that Is one. The math a, wasn't mathing. The math on was that not math. Like, I was like, I'm gonna have to push this to do this and shift all this around and lose that. So I was like, mm, doesn't make sense. Yeah, didn't make sense. And it's like, but and here's the thing: is like, it was a lot of standards that I felt like when we had a conversation were wants. Yeah. It's like, so, mm -hmm. yes, this place here has a lovely gym. It's $300 more a month. Mm -hmm. How much is a membership to Planet Fitness? Right. Like, just being realistic. Right. We did, yeah, we so, did yeah, it would be nice to just walk down three, but $300 for that? Yeah, that didn't make sense. And so, it's like, But we did end up finding something with a gym. So Right, but yeah, then I you also, it was like, I need a separate room for my oh, office. Oh yeah, okay. And I need like compromise that. Yeah. I compromise that. So. Compromise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, allergic to the word settled. Compromise. <laughs> Did you not settle on not doing the two bed uh, extra room just for the office? Did you did you not settle? I compromise. What is it? What is it? What is it with that word? What is it with that word? Why are you so averse to that word? To settling? Yes. Because it's like. Is that what like, you did? Because you had two bedrooms and one is below that. <laughs> I compromise. 
<laughs> and the only reason I say I compromise on okay. this because settling to me is very long term. Mm-hmm. Compromising, I can change it later. It's a, it's compromise. It's cool. You're doing this for now, but mm-hmm. later on, I'm gonna get what I want. You know. All right, we've been taking it back to the song. <laughs> <laughs> what I always want on to. brand, always on brand. So, all right, so, but no, in, in, in our reality, it's making compromise, understanding mm-hmm. like, yo, this is a list, but not c- certain things on the list take a priority, have yeah. more weight to them. And um, sometimes we have these standards um, and these things that we want, and we don't. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? It's we don't weight them. Everything has the same weight. Everything you just write it down, and everything is a requirement. Mm. And some things aren't requirements. And so there were things that you took off the list that made it easier to find. Yeah, what, what it I is. needed. Yeah, and in that you had some of the other things that you wanted. Yeah. So you still found a place with the gym, but because this other thing wasn't even this other thing wasn't even a requirement, but it was on there. Yeah. It kept you from getting the other things that were things that you wanted, and you couldn't do anything at that point. Mm-hmm. And so, um, but like just like on the full circle moment, had it, had you not changed the. Um, your position at what you were doing at work, mm-hmm. then it would have been an even tighter situation yeah. to even, then it would have been just the bare necessities, <laughs> the, the simple, simple bare necessities. necessities. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! So, yeah, that yeah. would have been, I don't know if I could have lived like that, but yeah. you know, I'm glad I didn't have <laughs> to do it like, that way. But it's like that I idea did. of the freedom, but then it was like, and when we had the conversation, it was like, now just imagine had you taken that position Three months earlier, prior, yeah. like when it was first offered, and with double the income for three months being stashed away, Facts. the flexibility that you would have had, mm-hmm. yeah. And uh, but yeah, you were scratched I when was. you came. Like it's like I was like, Ugh. I can't do this fucking podcast right now. Like <laughs> I got, I got life. <laughs> life is life, and I did, I did. I, I was like, look, I can't I was just like, life, <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that's so, crazy. Yeah. That was like two two months ago. Yeah, sheesh. And so, and yeah. then in the interim, still coming around. Like I joke about her quitting. She jokes about being fired. She just had stuff going Life. on, and and that's the thing. Like a talk joke about the podcast artists are shitty people, but I'm like, yeah, but they're people. Yeah, like I remember that you're people, even though you're shitty. Mm-hmm. You're still, still people. people. <laughs> yeah. Still got feelings. Still going yeah. through life. Yeah. Everybody lifing. Yeah, out there. And so, like, that's the the whole thing. Um, with with all of that, um, after you like, um, when you was here, you went through and you like adjusted some of your parameters, and it was just like all these other options, options came, came up. Came up, yeah. And you was like, I was like. Okay. Like, All right. Um. Right. 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 <laughs> bubbly. And then when I got out there and I got what I needed to get done yeah. and everything went through, I was like, okay, cool. What's yeah. up, y'all? <laughs> it's your girl, Miss Prim- You know, yeah, like, so now she slide back in on right. the lives with me and Tug, like, hey, what y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> Had to get life together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, it, it happens like that. And so. I'm just in a more comfortable place now to even be up in here and actually have a good time and put forth good energy and be my not authentic but genuine self, mm-hmm. you know? So it just, it makes for better when you you know you're more secure. And and that comes to, um, like, the graduation. Um, <laughs> yeah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> What was that? You know the graduation song. What's the name of da, it? Da, 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 da. What's the name of da, it? Da, 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 da. <laughs> What's the name of it? Da, da, so you gonna you gonna da, da, get us ba, you gonna ba, get us de- demonetized because you hump no, 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 oh, you don't even know the song. <laughs> I know somebody really, on that shit. I don't know the name of the song. I really don't. But y'all know the song. <laughs> Um, but no, like, um, still coming in and we're doing like doing a review and just still chopping it up about stuff you find in the place and, and, and adjusting mm-hmm. and, and getting things together and, um, 
having the conversations because we're on live having conversations with artists and then it's like me, you, and Chuck just having conversations about music in general and mm-hmm. life. And and that's my thing is when we have these conversations, um, I like I don't feel like it does an artist justice to just talk about their music because the music doesn't happen in a vacuum. So all of our kind, we've talked about credit, just budgeting, like, so life. Much. Like, yeah. Yeah, so much that regular people just need to hear, too. It's not yeah. even music. It's like, this is life. The music industry is a life lesson. It's like, you're getting all these things still in music, but it's life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so, um, like, Steady. I think it was the, what was it, when Chuck was... I don't remember. We was reviewing something and um, just having the conversation about you figuring everything out, coming, getting things back together. Um, I think you had showed me, it was like, like I think it was before the last episode too, mm-hmm. um, like that the video clip of you when you were just... Uh, Fresh into the game. Oh. And you was all bubbly and broke. Remember bubbly and broke, Man, friend? yes. And then, like, after that, it was, like, the time of, you know, just working and things not going the way you planned. Yeah. And then there's that period where you become kind of jaded with Yeah, because I made it to a stage, a really pretty big stage, you right. know, that a lot of people in their first year you don't make to and... I didn't know the things that I know now then, so I made a lot of foolish decisions. Right. <laughs> Y'all, a lot of foolish decisions. and But I was still being given so many opportunities so soon, but I did not understand the, you know, the real stuff behind it. So I just, you know, didn't know any better, and I lost a lot of things real fast. So I had to <laughs> dial it down a bit yeah. <laughs> and realize, you know, you're kind of a shitty person or shitty artist. Whichever. And so, yeah. But in this time and in all these months, and it's like, I feel like I've lived a whole life <laughs> in a short nine months. No lie. Mm-hmm. No cap. But it's been true, a teaching experience. It's- and And now in music, mm-hmm. in music where I'm at, it's like, you know how we talked about in the episode, you got to go back and watch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> When we talked about uh, the hobbyist versus the yeah. person who's actually, you know, in the music industry, making money as a business, running, you know, because there's a lot more 99 to one. the 99 one. Yes. The people who are in the nine, but not yet in the one who are realizing this business and actually learning about this business, it takes a lot to get into that one. Because mm. even me right now and the amount of things that I have learned in this time, I still feel, and we were talking about it, I'm, I'm kind of being more comfortable saying I feel like music, I'm a hobbyist in this music game. Mm-hmm. Because my business is not exactly where it needs to be. One second. Because we, this was Chuck. This is like we finished a live. We came out. We was finishing putting the desk together. Mm-hmm. I believe, but like when I, because because this was how many songs have you completed? Completed songs. That's out right now. Nope, not even out. Just completed recorded songs. How many songs have you recorded? It was like five or six. I'll give you six. Six. Okay. Did we say ten? I'll give you 10. I'll let you have 10. Yeah. So we have a woman with 10 songs recorded who is ready to take over the industry. She's recorded 10 songs. (laughs) And it's like, and that's having the comment. I'm like, so like you you shot 10 jump shots and you said the NBA (laughs) is where I belong. Right. Yeah, yeah, I remember this conversation now. I remember this conversation immediately. Yeah, right, 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 right. It was like, no. And like, so, it's Michael like, Jordan so even when not... we had that conversation about yeah. the 99 one, mm-hmm. I knew where you were. Yeah. yeah. But I understand that it's like having to allow you to realize, realize where you are. Mm-hmm. Like, because even, like I said, the thing is that the most dangerous part about the that 90, like the 90%, most people don't know that they're in the 90%. Yeah. And it's like, it's scary. Well, everyone, <laughs> like, it's most people's job to convince you that you're in the nine. Nine percent, yeah. And I think 
Otherwise, because, you're not going to spend money with them. Right. They're selling you that dream. <laughs> yeah. They're selling you that dream that you could be that 1%. You yeah. could be that Beyonce, that Lotto, that, you know, yeah. whoever. This, this is you. This, this you, all you can be All this. you need. Because you know how many times I done heard that? Yeah. <laughs> People be like, it's you. You are the one. You're going to make the change. Even when, like I said, in my first year, when I made it to the revolt stage, they was like, you know how many people come out and audition and don't make it this far? And I'm like, wow, it was me. First yeah. year, me. Yeah. So I believed it was me. Amazing. You know? <laughs> yeah. Right. There's still and then there was someone that. who was fucking amazing. But you're 28. Oh, right. God, get this old man out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this old hag. Social security. <laughs> <laughs> you're so old. So, you tell them that you're only <laughs> right. <laughs> My God, like. So, so that's the 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 thing of it. Like, is that that coming to that realization? But it's like um, I remember when we had when we were having the conversation um, while we we're putting the desk together, yeah. and I um, asking you, and you did the prim face, the <laughs> like, like what? What me? Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> A hobbyist? I? <laughs> Hold on, have you heard all these songs? <laughs> Notice it was just one flick. It wasn't even uh, the hard flick. It wasn't even the hard right flick. Now, it was the... <laughs> it's okay. I'm still working on it. Yeah, so... I'm working on it. So that, but, that's the, but that's the thing is, um, like, coming to that realization and having to, like, hold yourself... Like accountable, mm-hmm. and so like that conversation, and this is the thing, it kind of stemmed, I think, uh, from like releasing the records, like because yeah. it's like you've been doing music for was it three years now? It's going on three going years. On three In years. December, it'd be three years. Okay, yeah. and yep. so you've you've recorded six songs, and you hadn't released all six songs. Nope. And so it's like <laughs> like. What are you waiting on? Like, what is the like? And that's the like. I was waiting on the perfect moment. Uh, yeah, I gotta get all my stuff. I had together. to get everything like, together. Uh, the rollout had to be perfect, yeah. and the birds had to come a singing when they uh, dropped the oh, mic. And- I and I remember why I had this conversation with you because I knew you were coming to the thing, and I think you had posted something on the site. And you know, I was like, man, she had posted another post, and I was like, man, hold on. I don't think I've ever seen her video. And we've talked about this oh, video. So yeah, I went yeah, to watch, yeah. I watched the video yeah. while I was at the barbershop. <laughs> Listen, y'all, her video. <laughs> I was like, all her dreams in her oh video. Oh my gosh. There that was would like, be my most loaded like video. Dave, when Dave had his video on the, it was like, it was like a young prim. It was teenage prim. It was grown prim. It was the family. It was the pool scene. It was like, we got to do it. And I was like, and she paid this nigga only $1,500? <laughs> like, like, <laughs> the nerve of this motherfucker. <laughs> Let me tell y'all, when I say that is the most loaded video, but it was my it was, first video, so I, know, I didn't and, know no better, and, okay? And you wanted to have fun. That's I, what, I did. And that's the whole and point of what I'm saying is, and, I did. and there's nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with doing money this to thing fun. for fun. <laughs> That's why people go on vacation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Going to Vegas is not an investment. Nope. It's like, yo, it's I want to, and you know how much money you're going to lose. I'm willing <laughs> to lose. I gotta pay, I'm taking 800 Facts. to gamble. Yep. That's it. And you know it's most likely not coming no, back. No, you know. If it does... It's like, yeah, but then you don't be like, yeah, I think I'm just going to move to Vegas and start gambling every weekend. Absolutely like, you know, not. that's what it is. Mm-mm. So it's like in, in, in having that realization. Yeah. When we had that conversation, it's like, yo, put out the music. Yep. And then I finally did. Yes. I think it was, it was like the next day. Uh, you actually called me like when we left we all left and you called me when I was on the highway I thought something oh, happened yeah, yeah, yeah. it was like so what about the split sheet yeah. and it's like, I'm like what the fuck I I'm did like, cause I was really thinking about it once he said it I was like I guess I'm putting this music out there the split sheets, all right. the but then I was like but wait we didn't do the splits and we didn't do the I was like, let me call Kelly. He was like, just put it out there. And I'm like, all right. And it's like, it's and so, all- oh, let me tell you. So after I did that, right, mm. I just, I don't think I told you about this yet. My friend called me who I wrote the song with. And mm. he was like, yo, so I saw you put out the song. I was like, yeah. He was like, 
so what happened to the splits? Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, well, you know, I'm going to just put it on the, because I didn't do the sheet this time, but, you know, on DistroKid, they allow you to just do the splits in there. So mm -hmm. I did that. I was like, I'm just going to put it on the thing, and you should get an email. And da, da, da. He's like, yeah, that's cool, but I appreciate, you know, an actual split sheet. So mm -hmm. I had the contract. So that we can remain cool and neutral because, you know, friends, when friends do business, yeah. if you don't do it the right way, it get real foggy and funky. So he did the right thing in calling me. I ain't feel no kind of way. Yeah. But, you know, just let. But you did it, right? Yeah. And it was not a problem. No, not so, a problem. What impact it was did cool. it have? It was better. It was <laughs> best that I did it right. Because yeah. before Cause, I was like, no, and this, and this, and this. Like making shit thing. up in my Guess head. What? <laughs> Guess what? Had you not put it out, you still wouldn't have the split sheet. Done. Yeah. Facts. There's I no reason. I never did the split sheet. Yeah. It's like. Why? It is all of this hypothetical and like this is the worst advice. This is this is not legal advice. Go consult with a whatever. But I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. Like it don't it doesn't make sense. Sometimes you you try to do things the proper way, the right way, but it's not effective. Mm, yeah. It's like because the reality, like yo, you doing this as a hobby. It's not about the like I like I tell artists all the time. I'll bet a thousand dollars you're not gonna make it. Like. What? <laughs> like what? Like I'm going to listen. Even if you, you do, I will bet. You if I bet make. three of you, I'm coming up. Like, like it's just like the numbers aren't in your favor, mm. and so all, the only thing you do is worsen the numbers by not releasing music. So you you make the the process so complicated, and it's like it's good to know the business, and it's like but as a hobbyist, you're not in business. You're doing this for the love, for fun, like, and there's nothing wrong with that. And so if you see that, oh, I got 4,000 streams on that or 23,000 streams on that and things are starting to happen, then that'll make you get serious. And now you get your business in order. Mm -hmm. But it's like when we, that conversation is like, how many songs? You was like, but I spent all this money copywriting mm -hmm, stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you spent all this and money. It. Yeah, you spend money copywriting stuff, doing all this stuff to get the the paperwork and the legalities mm -hmm. and everything together, and ultimately, is like, how much money did you make off of any of those records, or how did it like benefit you? It's like like seven bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Ask had paid me seven dollars. And so it's just it's it's conceptual to an extent. Yeah. So it's just like the idea, and that's and and like file your copyrights, do all your split sheets, do all the yeah. do that. And you're not saying but, not to do none of that. I'm not saying not, not to saying do. Not, I'm saying not it's just saying not don't fucking practical protocol. when you like <laughs> <laughs> when you're a hobbyist. Yeah, when you're just like yo. But if you're doing Listen. it for business and you want to be in the nine or the one percent, and you're going with the people selling you the dream, then you probably got to do all that stuff. Cause that's just what it is. If if you because you do need those things if you actually become this huge Beyonce, you know. Yeah. But it probably ain't gonna be on the first <laughs> songs. <laughs> like, it's, yeah, it probably it's gonna not, take a while. It's not gonna be the first six songs. No, no. And so, but it's like, unless you uh, didn't. Uh, nope. Nobody. <laughs> I don't give a fuck who you know. <laughs> like, that's the whole thing. Y'all be reaching and grasping for straws, all these press releases. He was he was folding clothes and then he did one song Sexy in his Red. cousin. But Sexy Red been recording records since the pandemic. She has multiple projects. You out. said since the pandemic? Yes. And oh, so her she first, just started. No, her first thing was this. It was like the thing everybody was doing. Dun, 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 like, what was the... It was like the... I think Alanis Morissette uh, beat. Mm. Like, it was like... I can't remember it. But, like, everyone was, like, doing these little raps over it. It's like um, uh, a white rom-com stay in sync. Like, you hear it in all these movies. But it, it's like... She did a, like, rap over that. Like, and that was like when that was trending, like, back in... 2019, 2020, oh. something like that. So she's been doing music, and then she's produced she by Tank She started when I started then. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Wow. Does that eat at you? A little. I ain't going to lie. Because you know how I feel about Sexy Red. It's like, so you made that, and you made it? See? 
And I'm you sitting over here writing deep. real that's lyrics. Your, that's your problem. And Which talking are, real are, 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 Her lyrics are real. Because that's her. Ghetto. I don't care about your music. Fabulous. I care that you know, it's true to you. You right. Right. 100%. Right. And she must And you sitting know. up writing Never songs mind. about niggas from Atlanta when you're from, from Atlanta. Jersey, but born Jamaican and Jersey. They don't even know who you are. You Go ahead. Wow. Go ahead. Go ahead. I feel attacked right now. <laughs> wow. We're going to air it all out. This is the last episode. Like wow. <laughs> no, you really just put my whole life out there. <laughs> you Two put seconds. it out. <laughs> Throughout this whole series, Jeez. everybody knows all this stuff. I'm oh, not. No, no, I'm, I'm not from Fayetteville. <laughs> I ain't say it that loud. <laughs> <laughs> so, but no, like, so that's the thing is, it no one pops within those first records. Like, it's like you need to have done damn near a hundred records before you're even good. Like. It's Ooh, like you're, yeah. it's a development. It's so even, much. I thought my first song was good. I don't know. No, why. it wasn't. It's not bad. Somebody, somebody thought it was good. It's not bad. No, see. I thought it was good. You did. And yeah. that's good. But for the consumers, it's like there's the middle ground. There's good, bad, and other. Now, other. How you describe it is based on who it is and how you want it to land. When people don't give a fuck about you, then it's like, this ain't good. When they care about hurting your feelings, then, oh, it's not bad. Both of them are in the middle. Yeah. And so as long as people are saying, it's not bad, bad. they're also saying, it's It's not not good. good. (laughs) (laughs) I mean... And it's like, and it's like until people are like, "Yo, what is that?" Like, oh, okay, so that if they ain't doing that, then, then it's not good. good. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, listen, we all okay, have a I'm, friend who does music. Yeah, that you love this person as a person. They're absolutely. great people, absolutely. And they have new music when they play it for you. You're hoping. That is good. That is better than the last shit that you heard. Like the beats, whatever it is, it'd be like, uh, you got some new, all right. Please. Like you want them to have, like you want this for them more than they probably want it for themselves. Like, ah, you so cool and such a great person. Just, and then they play it and like, ooh, this ain't the one. <laughs> this ain't it. And it's like, and what do you say? It's not bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Well, I say that's nice. I sometimes that's nice. say that's nice. Yeah, yeah. I, that's yeah. nice thing. Oh, Do you say nice. that's good? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Can't quite say. I it's, say it's, that's we, good. You speak in euphemisms. It's yeah. just like that's, that's the nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cool. And so that's like the whole thing of developing, and it's like developing as an artist, as a creative, and finding your space. And I feel like the only place that that really happens is being a hobbyist. Mm. And so my problem with today's music industry, like you know, I'm the crotchety old man who complains about the internet all the time. I'm the coder, tech <laughs> enthusiast who who complains about the internet because of the effect that it has on people. Because Man. all of you think that you have to like immediately get on. You have six songs and you're like, it's my turn now. <laughs> <laughs> and that the internet makes you think that that's possible. Because even as I say that, like who gets on? And you're like reaching for the one person because you've seen a meme or, or you've seen a video clip, a TikTok, a Summer story. Walker. Summer Walker what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just be reaching for shit. <laughs> <laughs> she was cleaning toilets. Right. She had a uh, she had a uh, cleaning a job, service. Cleaning service, right? That she was working for. Mm-hmm. I saw it. Right. I saw it on TikTok. <laughs> I saw it on Twitter. It was right. And how many songs did she have her. recording? She didn't. She was doing covers. She wasn't even make her own music. She just sings really well. Okay. Yeah, she has. It's not the lowest hanging fruit. How many songs she do sings. you think? How many songs do you think that she? How how much practice or hours do you think she's logged singing? Hella hours. Right. She had to. She's amazing. She's right. an amazing singer. Yeah. 
So. And so, okay. so if she hasn't written, she's not making her own song. She wasn't writing. Right? So that's when we covers. have, like, so here's the thing. So, yeah, this is still not a good example. All right. Songwriter. Moving along. All right. Moving along. It was like, I did a, just a social experiment mm-hmm. on the Instagram page. And I posted um, two posts, weeks apart. The first post was, got an artist in the studio we working with. Uh, need a hit for them. Mm-hmm. Need a hit for them. Need a okay. hit record. Got $5,000. We paying $5,000. If you got it, you can make a hit record for them. Share this post. Like this post. It was like a list of little things to do. Over 100 people did it. 100 likes, all the kinds of shares, all that. Like, boom. Mm-hmm. Two weeks later, make another post. I got an amazing artist with an incredible record. Just needs $5,000, someone to invest some seed money to get the ball rolling on this record. I'm telling you, he's out of here. He's amazing. Just send your email in my inbox. One person sent an email. And Mm. I think it had maybe Mm. 10 likes on the post. Sheesh. So they didn't want to put that money up. Right. And so... But these two different posts are so that I can prove without a shadow of a doubt, with evidence empirically, that it's easier to get someone to write a hit for someone with a check Mm. than it is to get someone to write a check for For someone someone with with a a hit. hit. Mm. So no one gives a fuck about your music. Mm. Like, that's it. Like, you need some motherfucking money. money. So all of the artists who think, I'm going to make this shit shake without any money. With a great song. Let me look at you. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like, no. It's not going nowhere. And, it, and it's like, it sounds like it's sad and it's wrong, but it's like, that's business. Yeah. Music business. Like, the franchise just fee. Just business, period. And I just looked this up earlier. The franchise fee for Subway is $15,000. <laughs> It costs fifteen thousand dollars. That's just the franchise fee. Oh. That's to like, hey, I want to tap in. I want to be a part of this. Mm-hmm. Fifteen thousand. But you got to have a minimal net worth of one hundred and fifty thousand mm-hmm. dollars, or a hundred thousand dollars liquid cash, mm-hmm. right? But the the minimum, like the sunk cost investment on starting your first year, is between two hundred and fifty and five hundred thousand. Depending on the size of the store, location, all of that stuff, the average annual revenue for a subway is around four hundred and fifty thousand. Okay. The okay. average profit is forty one thousand dollars a year. Right. So you need all of that to make forty one thousand dollars off of bologna sandwiches. <laughs> And you think you're going to get millions of dollars <laughs> off an of MP3, the song that you recorded in your bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what wants baloney out your bedroom. You and your friend. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> and it's like this unrealistic view yeah. of Mm-mm. what it is that we're doing here. Mm-mm. And so it's like. Cost money, and Take that's where you gotta money. like leave space. Like fuck the business side of it. Mm. Just do it because you love it. Yeah, I believe I want more people to feel comfortable being hobbyists and being able to admit they're hobbyists and not wasting money and not wasting their life and not burning bridges and not fucking up relationships because they think they do something seriously <laughs> and they don't. Yeah, <sighs> so it seemed like. You'd be better off just being a hobbyist and enjoying yourself because at least you'll get enjoyment out of it. And then after the fact, you know, you may even make some real good money off of it. Yeah. Not to say you're going to be rich and famous, but you can make some money you off could. of it. You could. Like, all that stuff's still possible. Mm-hmm. It's like everyone who plays basketball doesn't have to go to the NBA or doesn't have to dream of going to the NBA. Mm-hmm. It's like, like, if the only reason I play basketball is because I want to go to the NBA, then there's a point where I'm going to stop playing basketball because that dream becomes unrealistic. Mm. I'm 41 years old. I shouldn't play basketball then. Because, like, yo, when you're 30, you shouldn't play basketball then. Mm. Like, but 
that's not why you play basketball. You play basketball because you the enjoy enjoyment it. of it. Mm-hmm. And it's like this idea that you can't do music for the enjoyment, enjoyment of, of it. it. Yeah. And if you care about people and you care about people's mental health, then that like this creative outlet is a place where you can work through stuff. You know, you said that, and I just thought of. It's like a person's face came to mind. Megasife. Mm-hmm. He's literally that person. He defies all those odds. And he does, like, he makes good music with real lyrics and a real message. And he loves people. Yeah. And he enjoys doing it. And you can tell. Like, That's shout out to Megasife. Shout he out taught, to Megasife. He taught me a lot in that one session from not even like trying to and just pulling me in and being like, hey, yeah, go put something down. And da, da, da. He taught me a lot in that one session, just seeing how he does things and came prepared. Even though yesterday he showed up late, but he still came No, no, prepared. I was joking. He had the wrong address. He went oh. to the address in the um, magazine instead of the studio. He went to the mailing address. Oh. So it was like, okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. Isn't that like yeah. way up? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. gosh. <laughs> Because he was like, yo, where's the door at? I'm like, he said, I'm over by the Kroger. I'm like, oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Like, my heart sunk a little bit. Like, Dang. I hate to tell you this. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. So, um, He's but, still good. Didn't shoot. He still came with good spirits. Yeah. Even after that. Wow, that's crazy. But And that's the, the mm. power of the subscription. Mm. It's like it weeds out a lot of negative energy, negative vibes. Like the the... Like the worst people. Yeah. It it like it weeds out the worst people. Like, and that's that's for me. Like, even the subscription is built for two hundred dollars a year. A hobbyist can afford that. That's seventy dollars seventy cents a day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you like that let me know that you're beyond crazy. If you like we like Kim was looking at someone's in the inbox, like it's the whole thing of what we do. They watch the video. Talk about because we don't charge for to go on the playlist, any of yeah, this stuff. Yeah, don't charge. All, you see all the shit we do for free for people. Mm-hmm. And it's like, but you mm-hmm. need to be subscribed if you want That's these it. benefits. Yeah. And so for 70 cents a day, like this is like <laughs> for 70 feeding, cents a, a day, feeding a child, YouTube feeding an artist be. in the sweats. Like, <laughs> like, like, it's like that. Like, so, for 70 cents so a day. So you want this money, you want all of this stuff. And it's like, oh, I saw a video said y'all do stuff free. I'm good. I'm like, cool. Like, I don't like. And I don't feel any kind of way. I'm just, just glad that I don't have to deal, deal with, with a you, person right? like that. Like, yeah. You know. Great. And that's why, that's why I can that sit here sense. with you and laugh and sense. joke. And you see a lot of other people who do what I do. And they be, oh, these artists. And yeah. like, they be angry. It's be like, angry. I it's, it's be so angry. The um, discernment. Mm. To be able to see who's a hobbyist and who's not. Yeah. And it's like, sometimes, you know, that just <laughs> is what it is. And, and. It's like some people go to the Bentley dealership knowing that they can't afford. I'm just looking for some. <laughs> I just want to be inspired, right? It's like, <laughs> and then some people come into the like really trying to buy a car. They're like, nah, bro, your credit ain't <laughs> so, like. But they have every intention, but they just mm, don't know. Yeah, yeah, like, bro, you need to do this. this you got to do this. Gotta like, this, here's some yeah. things, and then they go, all right, get it together, and like, ah, right, we gotta get some checks though. We gotta mm-hmm. do like, they figure it out. Mm-hmm. Cause they need a car. Figure it out. And so it's like, yeah, it's a lot of people in that first group. Like they engage with people who do it on a professional level. Wow. Because it makes them feel, feel way. Like, and I want to feel inspired. I want to mm-hmm. go to the big studio so I can feel. Like, and it's it's an experiential thing. Yeah. It's not a true investment. And so, um, and that was the whole thing with us getting to that point <laughs> when we had that the conversation and yeah. getting you to like. And since then. You've released two songs? Two. Okay. So I've released. Beginning. I released a radio edit of Zaza and Rose, so y'all can check that out now. Okay. Um, And Zaza was, yeah, actually, yeah, because I re-released Zaza earlier in the year. Yeah. So two plus the radio edit. And I was supposed to release one last week. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah. You didn't release it? No, I didn't release that last week because- Did they press you about them splishies again? No, 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 no. Listen, I don't want to have to go through this (laughs) again. (laughs) 
<laughs> no, 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 no. I actually needed Chuck to do something for me. Okay. Before I finished that. So that's why I was asking, is Chuck gonna be in? Is y'all y'all gonna be up there? Okay. I was trying to get it before I got out of out of town, but it didn't work out. So I was just like, all right, I'll wait till I get back. But okay. yeah, so still waiting on cousin Chuck. Okay. <laughs> And so, but yeah, I have some stuff that I'm like okay with being like, all right, let's get this out here. But just like one or two more things, so I can know at least I tried to do my best, and then you know it's out there. But it's, but I don't. It's feel not as trying bad. to do your best. There's no trying to do your best. You do your best. That's mm. it. Yep. Do your best. If you when when you say you try something, then you accept failure as a possibility. <sighs> Like you don't try something that you know that you can do. Truth, I know like, I can do say, it. I'm gonna try to go get something to eat, unless it's <laughs> traffic or some kind of <laughs> thing. Like you said something about that earlier, right? Like, right. Like, like, like just do you, it. You're right. just going to get something to eat. Like yeah. <laughs> so, if 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 you know that you're going to do your best, like what, and all you can give is all you can give. Yeah, that's the whole going back to the budget. Like you're like, I need to, like, mm-hmm. bro. Your budget is what the you got to spend. Is like, what it is. Yeah, like so whatever that is, that's, that's your what, budget. That's what it is. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. <laughs> and, it's, and it's always this kind of looking at what I don't have. It's the pessimism. Yeah. Like, because like, uh, that's how they the sell you shit. Mm-hmm. That's the only way they can sell you shit. You don't have this. You ain't that. You, you ain't need tall this. enough. You ain't right. whatever mm-hmm. it is. Your chain ain't big we enough. We got what you your need. Your diamonds don't glisten right. like this. Like, <laughs> like yeah. that's. Like, as long as I can make you understand that you're not enough, I can sell you something. Yep. And that's where, like, we struggle with sales because my whole thing is to build you up, is to make you understand that you're, I'm never going to tell someone you need us because you don't need no fucking body. That don't mean people can't help you. Amen. You don't need nobody. But you don't need nobody. She talking about. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't a Jersey accent, I'll tell you. Oh, my God. <laughs> <clears throat> so, in doing all that, though. All right, son. What's up? <laughs> that wasn't either. Like, that was, <laughs> is you, watch, you just be watching TV. Like, that's what you... That's, that's someone who watches TV. Oh, this is what Jersey people sound. Good eye, Mike. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> all right. So in, in that is um, you made me lose my train of thought slightly, <laughs> but, but realizing like when you realize it's a hobby and you operate in that, you feel better. Mm-hmm. And it's like since you released those songs, and it's like you've been back bubbly. Yeah, I feel way better. You feel better. Yeah, and people can actually hear new stuff, and they're like, "Why you drop that?" You know. It's cool. One of my one of my good friends, he's like, Wow, I really like this. It's so different from the other things you've done. It's like, yeah, it does feel good to just drop some new stuff. You know, let them hear something else. Good. And something else. And I get better every time with the something else. And it's something else. Now here's the question. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Are you happy? Is you happy? Mm-hmm. Is you happy? Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty cool. I'm I'm not what I was when I just felt like I had everything pent up. I wasn't dropping nothing. I kept saying, but this needs to be, but this needs to be, but this needs to be, you know, and I've let all that go. And I'm just like, ah, here it is. Take it or leave it, you know? Just, yeah. I feel lighter. Okay. Yeah. That was so. long. Are you happy? Is you happy? <laughs> Was that a yes or no? It's like a. I felt like you died. I felt like that was other. Like, what the, I ain't saying that but I ain't died. happy, but right. I ain't saying that I'm not happy. I mean, I'm cool. Like, but yeah, no, I'm good. I'm happy. Uh, I'm happy. What's wrong with people? Why, why we can't be happy to our emotions? Like, just why we can't be yeah, happy? I'm happy. You ain't trying to be South Jersey. I mean, I got you, Jamaica. <laughs> It's on live. No, we are. I'm embarrassed. So, <laughs> so you're happy. I'm happy. And yeah. therefore you're successful. Oh. What did I tell you? Oh, yeah. I did say that. Success is it's happiness. happiness. So wow. you don't need to make a million dollars. You don't need to sell out arenas. Like you can have people who are making money and they're not happy. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's the goal. (laughs) That's the goal. I'm successful. Right. (laughs) That's the whole goal. Just want to run out of here. (laughs) Yeah, I'm happy. Look at me. I'm happy. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's wild. Yeah. It does feel different, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and that's kind of like the whole thing where... Like with doing this music thing, you you use other people's metric to gauge your success. To like, measure my happiness. Yeah. I was never gonna reach it. If I don't get this many streams, no. I'm not happy. Like, yeah. <laughs> if this many I'm people didn't follow me, I am not happy. Like <laughs> crazy. And that's crazy. And it's like I that's was like crazy, y'all. The little simple things that you do is like if you cook and you cook for a person, you cook for your niece, you cook for your mom, or whatever, and they're not feeling good, or you just, their anniversary, and you cook something mm-hmm. for them, you bake cupcakes, whatever it is, and they eat it, and they're like, oh, they're delicious. Your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, everybody eats them, they're happy. You feel good about that. It feels that. so good. You yeah. don't say, damn, if only I could have got a million people to love these cupcakes. <laughs> Yeah, nah, I don't care about that. <laughs> My cupcakes didn't go platinum. I don't like, care about all that. It's like, <laughs> if you can bring joy, and that's like, as a creative, mm. that's your music. Mm-hmm. If you can put a song out there and someone enjoys it, someone feels good. likes it. Yeah, feels really good. Like, you can, like, yeah, my friend is like, oh, I like this one. It's like, hey, I heard your song. It. Really? It'd be, that's sh- it. To it'd be make the best something. Thing. I'd be like, that someone else enjoys. Did you like it? Yeah, yeah. like that's what you like. Hey, yeah. the music reviews and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, you yeah. want to hear. You want to see how people receive your mm-hmm. stuff, and if they receive it well, or even if you just find someone who receives it well, yeah, then that that's an good. amazing thing. That's, that's, an, that's, yeah. that's something that most people don't get. It's like my first album. Like, I found it online. Someone else put it up, typed up all the stuff and scanned the cover art and all this shit. I'm like, wow. Like, this is something. Someone took out time to do this because they liked my music. Wow. Which that thing was terrible. <laughs> like, <laughs> but I appreciate Somebody that. liked it. Somebody liked Like, I had a DJ hit me up. This was around South by time. And mm-hmm. I didn't even realize it because I don't never be on Facebook. And it was like, he was trying to get, he was trying to find one of my singles to put in a mix. And I was like, yo, I'm trying to, nah, nah, nah. and I like didn't see it until like last month. Mm. And then I was like, ah, oh, man, I don't be on here. Like, I didn't yeah. even know. And he hit me back immediately. Like, yo, can you get it to me though? And I was like, and it's like six months late, but it's like, you put something out in the world, you make something and people connect with it. And here's the, 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 the bad thing about it is asynchronous. You don't see them connecting with it. So it's like people connect with it and you're not around to see it. So you feel like nobody's connecting yeah, with it. Yeah, I feel like it's not even happening. And so like, the, I'll give you an example of what we do with the magazine. People spend thousands of dollars to see someone post about their shit to people who don't care about your music. <laughs> Like, don't care about you as a person. We're on here to watch fights and salacious <laughs> shit and, like, whatever sensational shit. Like, you dropping a new song, I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> and But we'll post out because we just want to see people seeing it. Mm-hmm. And it's like, the magazine, we print up minimum 5,000 copies of each issue. And then we distribute them wow. all over the country. Wow. It's major studios, content spaces, radio stations, label offices. And wherever it's at is working, people are looking at it. Yeah, because people want to see. But you don't get to see them seeing it. Yeah. Because it's places you're not. That's why it's productive. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So it's like someone see like someone told me too. Like like yo, I was at some studio, was some for a workout, and it was like, and someone gave me the map. Like damn, these things are everywhere. People be like, yo, I was out in L.A. and I seen the magazine. Now I really got to get. I'm like, yeah, but it's. It's so many other places. You just don't know. And it's like. you can't see it, but it's there. And the things that work for you, mm-hmm. they work in your absence. Things are still working. That's why I'm big on like the way that you promote putting things out so that they're out in the world working for you. So just when like you, that collaboration with Megasife. Yes. Woke up that next morning like, new followers. Yeah. How'd you guys find out about me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's everything is like um, 
just just being productive, like putting the music out and let it work for you. Because yeah. if you release consistently, you're helping train the algorithm. The algorithm that puts part. you in front of new people. And that it may part. not be a million people, but if but 10 it's going to be people, somebody. Japan got my music somehow the other day. I was like, okay. It's in Japan. Nice. So I love I love when y'all do that. When y'all say the whole country. Like, Japan. Like, 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 yeah, the prime minister is loving this shit. Like, hey. <laughs> I saw it on the thing. Like, it was like, no, I, know. I was like, what? The Japan? The worst thing they ever did was give you niggas analytics. Like, <laughs> Look, I'd be so like, surprised crazy looking at the places. Italy, like. Right. I was like, yeah, I'm popping in Japan, y'all. Yeah, well, it's like, yeah me and them K-pop but, boys, we about to make a song. Here's the thing. It ain't even like, it's the thing is, even if it's only three people, even if it's only three people, mm. there are three people in Japan who are listening to your music. Going back to the cupcakes. <laughs> How fucking cool is that? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. No, it was really it actually anybody anywhere that's not here with me. If I didn't do it, if I didn't put it in front of you, yeah. I'm amazed that it even got to you. You yeah. know, so I'd be grateful. Yeah. I'd be grateful. So, so you're no longer a shitty person. You're a happy person. That's crazy. I mean, it's not crazy that I'm not a <laughs> shitty person. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, like. I'm happy. When you realize how far you've come. Yeah. Like, and that's the. That, where, where I was in December? Yeah. Y'all. Wow. Nine months. Nine months can change a lot. Yeah. This is I'm what, a like. Completely different place. This is what everything we do, everybody looks at the, when it comes to the magazines, like, oh, I want to open up this artist and do all that. That's all they care about. Like, this is the work that I do, mm. is trying to help artists build a healthy relationship with their art, mm. with their creativity, with the process, with the way that they look at the industry. Yeah. Well, shout out to you yeah. for doing the real work. Because a lot of people out here are doing the fake work, but you're actually doing the real work. Shout well, out to the, making it magazine. The fake work pay better. The fake yeah. work pay way <laughs> better. Like, hey, you want some streams, niggas? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm. take my money. <laughs> Good gosh, no. Like, so, but yeah, like that's, that's what way. this whole thing is about. So... This this concludes the artists and shitty people oh podcast. My God. And if you watched all the episodes, all the episodes, hopefully it helped you too. Hopefully it helped you too. Hopefully you ain't a shitty person either. Hopefully you're I mean, happy. They just got to this one. They, yeah, true. It might take well, a few more they weeks for sure. <laughs> Y'all on the live, you gotta go back and watch from the top episode one, artistsandshittypeople.com or the Making It Magazine. Um, YouTube, you'll find Artists of Shitty People podcast. Start episode one. Watch it all the way down. Y'all, it really helps. It truly, truly, truly helps. It's a lot of different um, lessons up on the podcast. Don't, don't dilly if you're serious about your music. Actually, if you're serious about being a good person, because that's really what this podcast is about. It's about being a less shitty person. So go watch Artists of Shitty, Pe Artists of Shitty People. Yeah. So I'm, you, I'm about uh, to see if I got any questions in the comments. If we ain't got oh, no questions in the comments. Oh, I completely forgot that. We didn't even tell them folks. Y'all could be asking questions in these oh, comments. Oh, yeah, y'all could be. We never said that. So if you're in the comment section, go ahead and drop a question for us before we get up off this thing because we do still got to go to the... Sound capsule. Sound capsule. It's going down. It's going down. It's going diggity diggity down with highness in the building. Woo! Oh, no. Figure hi in the audience. Ah. I don't look like we got any questions on the Instagram. I actually left out the Instagram, so I would have missed all of them anyway. Oh, dang. <laughs> we wasn't on Instagram? Um, we're live on Instagram, but I wasn't in there with the, um, with the thing. I also forgot to send out the text message to the, what's the name? No, it's fine. You know, it's just the no. last Artists and Shitty People the episode. episode. That's, That's all. It. We didn't have to send out the but text. But I think it was, a, it was a great finale. I think it was a great series finale. Yeah. Like, we'll check yeah. in with you from time to time. Maybe do like the reunion show. <laughs> oh, the reunion have, show. Have, have, have the whole crew on the next and crew. time. Like, you know, <laughs> and crew. They've been behind the scenes getting all the gems and learning the stuff too. So, you know, maybe they can come oh, man, in and be like, like, in episode 12, you was really a shitty person. You know, you never know what's going to be said. No. Yeah. So. Episode one, I was a really shitty person, though. Yeah. Oh, man. 
Like she was, she was, a, she was a know it all for the first three episodes. Man. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's how you' supposed to do it. Marketing, marketing, Let's monetization, get Let's get NFT. We're done. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, appreciate everybody for tuning in. Um, last things like I never like. So we have the subscription on the site. Yes. Go subscribe. Subscribe. Um, subscribe. Whenever the membership opens up, apply to be a member. You have a slim chance, but go ahead and apply. Uh, why, are you, why are you demoralizing? I'm not. That? I'm just saying you have to be a special kind of person to be able to and be accepted into the membership. Don't you think you're a special kind of person? I know I'm a special kind of person. So do they. You a hater. <laughs> <laughs> So All right, cool, go ahead. <laughs> we'll see. Take your diploma bag, you <laughs> shitty person. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, hit the website up. Even if you don't subscribe, um, you create a free account and you can still post Be updates in your profile and network with people and um, build relationships and learn the game. That's, yeah. that's what we're here to help connect people. Uh, tune into the music reviews. Ooh. Chance win a thousand dollars competing in tournament. Thousand um, dollars. I don't know. We just oh wait, three days, stuff. three more days to submit for this the South by Southwest. This shit ain't coming out before that. Okay, that'll be done <laughs> anyway. I kept it real general, Prim. You're right. You're right. You're right. But the live it's like Easter again right now. Oh hey, live. Yeah, people. that's what I'm talking <laughs> to. I'm like, All you got right. three days for real. Yo, Love yeah, you. it is three days left to submit um, to win a free trip to Austin to perform during South by Southwest mm -hmm. not at South by Southwest um, it's we charge $50 to submit this is just for subscribers subscribers um, only selected artists receive round trip travel two nights hotel stay in a performance on the medium matter sound stage just to give you reference last year we had over 3,000 guests RSVP'd for um, the making it compound before the doors even open. Um, we was packed throughout the day. Packed um, out. They kept closing the door. Had to cl close packed. the door, shut it down because it's too many people. people in. It's too um, many people. Like over two hundred DJs, media outlets, industry professionals doing free interviews, networking, checking out talent, diamond. Um, producers, platinum mm -hmm. songwriters, major labels, all in the building, um, and all of that. All of that. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. You know how much South by charges to submit music to perform? Fifty-five dollars. Really? Yes, and they don't cover none of your travel. None of it. Nothing. And you know what? Most of their venues are under two hundred and fifty. Capacity. Some of them like 100. I've been to shows, South, official South by Southwest shows, where it's damn near nobody in there. And I heard it wasn't even really for like our culture. Not that for our culture. So, no, yeah. No. So, perform no. during South by Southwest. We're making it mag. But you got to yeah. submit, though. Yeah, you got to submit. Go ahead and submit, y'all. Yeah, Three days. Lit. It was lit. And yeah. this was my first South by Southwest experience, experience it was with making it mag. Yeah. Y'all, when I say. <laughs> yeah. It was it was fun. It yeah. was real fun. Like and the people that I met and I was able to host one of the stages. That was fun. Um, and they really do fly you out there, cover everything, y'all. Daylight, <laughs> <laughs> covered everything. It was a good time. Yeah. Me and Michaela would never forget. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> go ahead, Smith. You got three days. You got one, two, three. Yeah. All right. And we out. We about to go over to our last sound capsule tournament. Yeah. Go support Highness. Check out some dope talent. Um, yeah. All right. You got to do your outro. Oh, what is my outro? You say your name and everything. Okay. It's been like eight weeks. Oh I don't my know, God. Prim. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, this is Kelby Cannon, publisher of Making a Magazine, founder of the membership. This has been the Artists Are Shitty People podcast. Hopefully, it's helped you. This is Miss Primrose. That's Miss P R I M R O S E, your resident artist. And this was this was great. Thank you, Kelby. It's been great, an amazing podcast series. And I am no longer a shitty person. So I'm gonna sing this one more time. <coughs> artists are shitty people. No more. Can you just sing? I'm happy. 
Because I'm happy. <laughs> we might have to cut that uh, out. Nope. <laughs> and we're out. <laughs>